Hello, this is Bensi at Sensors Tech Forum and this video has been created to explain to you what is your computer has been blocked scam and how to remove it from your computer. First of all, what is it? Your computer has been blocked is a type of message that accompanies quite a few tech support scams as well as some ransomware viruses. Those scams can appear on your PC in a lot of ways. The worst of which is due to a Trojan horse on your computer. Most of the scams have websites spreading them which can lock you out of your browser to a point where you cannot interact with it. A small number of scams are even more complex and integrate with your system on a higher level. They lock you out of your desktop screen holding your computer hostage similar to a ransomware virus. Fortunately those scams do not encrypt files and they have certain number of phone numbers that aim to trick the user into calling them and uh, hopefully uh, generate a lot of headaches to the user. So, one very strong indicator of having such a tech support scam on your computer is via a sound message since most of them have either a bleeping sound or sound messages uh, of a robotic voice saying that your computer has been blocked. Let's see an example just to show you how it works. Important security message. Please call the number provided as soon as possible. You will be guided for the removal of the adware spyware virus on your computer. Seeing these pop-ups means that you have a virus installed on your computer which puts the security of your personal data at a serious risk. It's strongly advised that you call the number provided and get your computer fixed before you do any shopping online. Now before beginning the removal process, We'll have you know that this removal process is general for all web browsers. Since scams can be different, uh, some scams may deny access to your web browser. This is why uh, you can try to access the web browser from an incognito window. For Google Chrome, it's right click on the Chrome icon and then new incognito window to enter the private mode of it. For Firefox, it's right click and then new private window. For Opera, it's the same as Firefox. For Internet Explorer, it's just simply right click and click on start in private browsing. This is one way to counter this blocking effect the tech support scam does. And here are the instructions. Make sure to follow them carefully and ask any questions after the instructions in the comment section. We'll make sure to help you the best we can. To begin with, press Windows button and R together to open the run window. In it, type appwiz.cpl and click on OK. This will open programs and features. Look for the name of the suspicious software or any name related to it and mark it with your mouse with a single click. Now click on Uninstall and confirm any pop-ups. After removing the program files of this unwanted app, it is time to clear the web browsers manually. Let's begin with Google Chrome. In the Chrome address bar, type the following. Chrome double dot double slash net dash internals slash hashtag DNS. After opening it, go ahead and click on the DNS tab on the left of the page. Now click on the Clear Host Cache button. And this will result in the complete cleanup of the Google Chrome cache. For the next part, type in the address bar Chrome double dot double slash settings slash clear browser data. From the pop-up window, mark all the information you want deleted and be careful with passwords. From the drop-down menu above, choose the beginning of time. After having done all of this, click on Clear Browsing Data.
Now scroll further down in Advanced Settings to locate the Reset Settings button at the bottom. Once found, click on it to restart Chrome Settings to default. And you are all set with Google Chrome. Just don't forget to uninstall any extensions if still present. And now it is time to reset Firefox, a much simpler process. From the top right button's drop down menu, click on the gear lever icon that says Options. To change your home page default, click on the Restore to Default button under the home page bar. Great! Now it is time to reset Firefox to default, just like we did with Chrome. In the address bar, type about double dot support and open it. On the support page, you will see a Refresh Firefox button. Click it. After this, Firefox will begin the refreshing process and after you click Finish, your old data, like bookmarks and other, will be saved in a folder on your desktop called Old Firefox Data. And just like with Chrome, do not forget to check for any browser extensions that may have been left over after the refresh to delete them. The next browser to reset is Internet Explorer. Locate the Tools menu. It should be located on the top right corner of your screen. For newer versions, it is a gear lever icon. From the Tools menu, choose Internet Options. To reset the home page, click on the Use Black or Use Default buttons. Now go to the Advanced tab. To reset Internet Explorer, click on the Reset button. Confirm any additional dialog boxes. And after this is complete, Internet Explorer will be reset back to default. Bear in mind that some unwanted programs may leave traces of themselves, like malicious scripts. Those scripts may reinstall them and corrupt your browsers and PC with these risky programs again. To be sure in the removal and the future health of your PC, we advise you to scan it with an advanced anti-malware software. We have chosen to use this tool because it checks for all forms of objects and is regularly updated against such threats. Thanks for watching, and as always, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to show support. If you have any questions, leave us a comment down below.